Hello my little Pango Pups, I'm TJ Starglyph, and today we're going to be making meatballs or hamburgers, I haven't decided yet. First you need your pound of ground beef, that's been thawing all day. So the next step is we put two eggs, two large eggs in there. And my egg shells are funny colors because I get all my eggs from my parents' farm. One, two, oh, I got some on my table. Okay, I think, I think two is gonna be enough. And then we add our saltine crackers, which is just our filler. crumble a few in there. You can use bread crumbs, you can use saltine crackers, you can use oatmeal, you can use nothing at all, you know. Really it's up to you in the end. Two more. Uh, that might be a little too much. Oh well, we're making a big batch. We're using an entire pound of hamburger and I'm the only person who's going to eat these, so. All right, now it's the fun part. Spices. Don't need a lot, you know. Spice it however you want. I got a bunch of uh, new spices from the grocery store that I'm going to try out. Greek, I really like Greek. Put garlic. Just a little bit. Lemon and herbs, my dad's favorite. On the right side. Quite a bit of that one. Okay. And then we have some Montreal steak spice, which most people just put on steak, but I really like it because it's a little spicier. All right. We're gonna put rosemary. bit of basil. Okay, now is the fun part, or you know, the mostly fun part. We get to mix it, yay, with our hands. Ha ha, it's cold. It's cold and it's gooey, I hate it. <laughs> I kind of like and I kind of hate this part because it's messy and it's cold. And whenever my dad and I would make hamburgers or meatballs, he would get the meat out of the freezer only like a couple hours before. This has been thawing most of the day. Um, a couple hours before, so it was still frozen in the middle, and then he'd heat it in the microwave, so it was hot on the outside and frozen on the middle, and ouchy on the fingers. Now the question is, do I want balls or flat hamburgers? Forbidden Play-Doh. Except this stuff you can actually eat after cooking in the oven. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. I'm making gooshy sounds. So that's gonna be good. I'm gonna wash my hands, then I'm gonna move the camera over so you guys can watch me roll the shape and so I can put some of these spices away. So I'll be right back after washing my hands. Okay, that's a precarious angle, but well, that's gonna have to work. So we have our mixture and we have our pan, just pre-greased. We're just gonna roll it into a shape. I'm just gonna roll it, I think a little bit smaller. Nah, it's a good shape. All right. Okay. Apologize for the camera angle. My phone, which is my camera, is currently being held up by a couple of plates on my cupboard. Yeah. I need a cameraman or something. Gotta form a shape, you know, you can't just plop it on. Just 
in the corner. Here we go. When was the last time I had meatballs? Especially in spaghetti sauce? Oh, that'd be good. Is this actually recording? Because I'm not even paying attention to what the cam what's on the camera at this point. I'm just kind of doing my thing. <laughs> I'm a horrible YouTuber, I apologize. But, you know, we do this for fun. Yeah, I apologize you guys can't really see the mixture very well. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a better angle. Okay. Like I said, I can just barely see the camera. It's horrible. Okay. Uh, those are big. Just a meatball this size. <laughs> can't see. That size. No, that's all the meat we have left. Oh, God. That one's big. That's what she said. I'm wondering if I should make these smaller. Oh, well, who cares? It might take a little longer to cook, though. I think I'm going to have just enough. Oh, sorry. I'm over there and not under the camera where you can see. I'm over the bowl doing it now. Okay, yeah. I'll just split that in half. Have one real big one. And here's the last one. We'll just try and get the little, little bits of meat and stuff from the bowl as much as we can. Yeah, these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be, but no, oh well. We have our meatballs. Bowl is empty. So I'm gonna pop it in the sink. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll get back to you in a minute. We have our meatballs. Into the oven they go. All right, my little pango pups. The meatballs are done. So I'm gonna pull them out and see how they look. Oh my God, these smell so good. Grab a knife. Just gonna check one of them. Big one. Okay. And it would help if I had a light on actually. It's kind of hard to tell through the lens. Oh, 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 oh. Cut her in half all the way, but she is cooked. She kind of looks pink in the camera. I realized that, but they are cooked all the way, I think. We'll check a different one, another big one. Yeah, I don't know. They look pink in the camera, but in real time, they look just fine. I think. I'm thinking, I'm gonna put them for another minute or two. Just cause they do look weirdly pink on camera, but that just might be my film or my phone. Okay, so here they are after a few more minutes in the oven. As you can see, I flipped them. This one kinda got away on me. Yep, now they're good and crispified. Again, they look weirdly pink through the lens, but they're not. They're good and crispy. So now, it's gonna be the taste test. Mm. I think we used a little more basil, but honestly, these are really good. Hope everybody has a good day, a good weekend, a good week, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!